Hello, today I'm here with a new Free Looks One palette and uh, I, in my last Free Looks One palette, I put a little voting thing up here. I will do it in this video as well so you can vote which video you want me to do a Free Looks One palette with next. And when I am recording, this was the winner. The Ducey, the Deuce, the Ducey palette by UVS and it looks like this. So it's a nine pan palette and I haven't used this so much because I have used my other US face so I'm a little happy that you picked this. So I'm going to do free looks with this and I will leave the timestamps and a little review part the look and a little review part in timestamps down in the description if you want to just see one or two looks or if you just want to see the review part so if you don't want to see everything you can just skip ahead and yeah I will just get started with the first look okay so I prime my eyes and now we just start and if you hear some sounds in this video and um, they're just moving in the person in the apartment next door so we have had two different two new neighbors this month one that lives on that side and over us and the other one that lives there so i'm sorry for the sounds but i can't do anything about it so for the first look i want to do i'm not really <laughs> sure i don't think i want to do such a colorful look um, i think i will i think i know what i will do i am pretty sure i will start with this creme yeah, I will start with this creme in my crease, and to be honest, I this is not my favorite palette from Uvia's Place, and I haven't used it that much, um, but then when I have seen other people use it, I am like, I have that palette, why don't I use it? So I am glad that it was this one for my next Free Looks One palette because then I can use it more. And I think this is one of the safest palettes they've done. It's like only these two colors that are a little bit crazy in this palette. Okay, if you don't talk about the warrior palettes, but they are meant to be their nude palettes. And then I want to deepen down the crease with crap. Crap's crap, crap. Not crap, like poop, like cap. In Swedish, in Swedish, I think you say crap, crepes, crepes. But I believe it's a French word. And now one of the cats start eating. Maybe this is a sign that I shouldn't record a video today. But it's Saturday, so. Yeah, and we just have to roll with it and pretend like this is, um, life isn't perfect. So I really like these two colors even though they are pretty toned down. I think I will also go in with crap on my outer part of my lid. And here it was like... I really didn't know what I want to do with this look. It is like that I like this palette but I don't get so inspired by it and I really don't know why. Because it's nothing wrong with it. And then maybe for the little bit more fun for this look I will take macarons, this green. Just want to drag it out a little bit to crepes. I wonder how the French word is. Crepe. I've actually studied French for four years. I think I've talked about this before, but I can't like speak shit. If you would leave me in France, I would die. 
I can like ask how you are, say what my name is and uh, but maybe I would survive. I think I can order ice cream. So yeah, I would not die. I just would eat a lot of ice cream. Okay, I think this maybe looks a little bit dull. So I will go in with chocolate, this really dark brown, and put it on my outer, in my outer V. And as you may have know, I love to do this. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but I just want something to have like a little dimension. So, something like that. I think I'm satisfied, satisfied with this. So, I will take away the fallout, fix my base and my brows as usual, and then I will come back and we do the under eyes and put a lipstick on. So, for my under eyes, I will do the same and it feels like I am this boring person now. I don't know who I have become. So I will take crepe first and tap this off. And I also will take, oh, I got something in my chocolate to deepen it down just a little 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 out here and then I will take macarons and put it in here and like just drag it to the shade I have the other shade and now I will spray it because I don't want this to fall and I hate doing that. This, this always feels like I will poke my eye. Okay, this was so nice to spray. Maybe I should have sprayed it on my lid as well. Okay, I think I will do that. So I take this in again and spray it. And then put it on my lid as well. But just like on the lid and not too high up. And then go in a little bit with the crap again. Crap. I have to say it in like Swedish or else it sounds like I'm saying crap. Okay, which one do you think it's uh, the best eye? I think this one. So I will fix the same on the other eye and holy smokes this shade. Okay, so now both eyes are sprayed and this was so much more like metallic when sprayed. I like it. And I will take something in my waterline. I was first thinking about taking like a dark blue. But I don't think so. I think this is like the hardest thing. Tissue pen. Maybe I should take this. Okay, I think that this was good. So I will put on mascara, choose a lipstick and then I will come back and we will see the finish result. So, the look is complete and for lips I took the Body Shop's Nairobi Camellia. I think it goes good with the look. I really like this one. It's got a little bit of a moussey consistency. Really good. So, this is my first look with the Dusay palette, the Deuce to say. And I, I like it. This one was better sprayed. It wasn't a bad shadow without spraying, but it was more metallic with. So this is my first look, and if you want to see two more looks, just keep on watching. So it's time for the second look with my Dusay palette. And yes, I have a super nice friend here, and also my eyes are so stained. Because I tried to do my second look with this one, it 
did turn out shit so I washed it away and now I'm going to do it in another way um, it will come more in my review part what I like and not like about the palette so we just hop into the second look and yeah now we also know that it's staining in this palette so yeah so I will start this look with creme and also custard in my crease so I will start with creme Put it here. It's almost hard to see on this side where I have a shadow or where I not have a shadow because I got a lot of staining. It's from the custard shade, not this creme and my studio light and my hair. <laughs> And then I will take custard and also put it in my crease but with a smaller and more pointier blending brush. And I like to do that because I think it gets a nice transition when you're working with maybe a little bit more darker or like brighter color like this custard and so I want this line to be or the fading I want it to be good something like that and then I will cut my crease cut my whole crease and I use Colourpop's no filter concealer for this And then I will put on this one, Mont Blanc, and put all over my lid that I have cut. And usually when I do use UV's Place shimmers, I don't need to cut my crease, but with this one, I do. And then I will go in with custard again, just to make it a better blend. And then I also will go in with custard and do like a halo eye. So I take it out here and also the inner corner of my eye so the Mont Blanc is like the halo and then maybe go in with the Mont Blanc a little bit again. So, something like this. I think this looks pretty okay. So, I will fix the other eye off cam because you don't need to look at me when I do a, when I cut my crease and then put color on it again. I will just go in a little bit. I will mix the creme and the custard and take it in my crease again. So I will do the same on this eye uh, off cam and then I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows and then I come back and we do the under eyes and everything else for this second look. So the other eye and the face is on so now we're going to do the under eyes and I <laughs> do not want to take this silver shade because when I was trying to take away my fallout I got a little everywhere and now I don't dare to take it under here and I have glitter everywhere so I will just take custard and creme um, so I will start with creme I 
And then I will take custard with a smaller brush and put it closer to my lash line. Hopefully. So like that. And I am thinking about if I want to do something in my inner corners. And I think I do. I will take puffs. And yes, I will see if it's... I don't want too much. So I will tap this off and try to place it without spraying. So that was all for eyeshadow. So I will put on mascara, lipstick and something in my waterline. And I am pretty sure I'm going to take boots from Colourpop. So I will fix that and then I come back with the complete second look. So this is the complete second look. And for my lips I took I'm, Royal, or I'm Royalty from Jeffree Star. I don't know. I don't think it was the best match. I maybe should have gone with the pink, but now I have purple lips and I'm going to stay with purple lips. So this was my second look with the Doucet palette and I have some things to say about the shadows I used in this look, but that will come in the review part. And yeah, if you want to see look number three, just keep on watching. So, okay, it's time for look number three with this palette. and. I don't really know what I want to do today, uh, but I maybe know. I will start with this berry mousse and put it in my crease. And this is a very light shade even on me. I think that this maybe would suit like if I did uh, do makeup every day before I go to work this would be like a perfect everyday shade for me I think because it's it's light but it also a little buildable and it's like one of these shades that is there, but it's not boom in your face. Okay, and then I will go in with chocolate, this dark shade. And I think I will take... I will take a pretty small blending brush. This is from Sigma. I usually use this under my eye. Now I want to really define crease. This was maybe a little bit too defined for me. If you have been here on my channel for a while, you know like this small, especially blending brushes, is not for me. So I take this one and try to maybe just I take this one and fix this. And then I will go in with chocolate again, but on a bigger brush. Take it out here. I think this brown is a really nice brown. It is really deep. And I like it. It's like you got all these colors and I like the dark brown one. I will use custard, this one in the middle. For my inner corner I will go in with puffs. And I will spray this. I can't remember if I used this in my first look or not. I'm not sure. Okay. This is so like foiled now. Um, so I will go in with custard over it a little bit. Just to blend out the edge. Okay, so I think I am 
happy with this. So I will take away my fallout and fix my base and my brow and then I come back and we fix the look together with my under eyes and also some lipstick for this. I don't know what to go with but I will figure out something. <sighs> okay, for my under eyes on this look, I have no idea what I want to do. I don't know if I want to do the same as on my lid or not. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I will go in with chocolate. But it's so freaking dark. Okay. I will go in with chocolate. And I will try to close my mouth and I want to take it the whole way. Do I? Yes, but I don't want it to be so dark in here, so I'm going to try to smudge it. So, something like that. And maybe I. I don't really know if I want something in my inner corner. I think I will take puffs, but I don't think I will spray it and just try to... This is going to go everywhere. I will just see if I can put it... I think we have to spray it. So I think something like this. And now I put on mascara, lips, something on my waterline, and then I will be back with the finished last third look. So this is the third look. Uh, for my lips I took O Snap from Colourpop and in my waterline I took Boots from Colourpop, their gel liner. I don't know about the lips. I think I would wish that I would take something a little bit more fun. But as you know, matching lips with eyes is not my strongest thing. So it's time for the little review part on this palette. And my honest opinion on this is, if I compare this to my other UVS Place palettes, I have 8 UVS Place. This is the one I like the least. It feels like it's not even the same formula in this palette as in their other palettes. I think that UVS Place does some of the most amazing shadows there is and oh I have something in my eye. So, I think that Yves Place does some of the most amazing shadows, both shimmers and mattes. I think this palette is an exception. If I compare this with my other palettes, this is nothing that is super bad or something. But if I compare it to my other Yves Place, this doesn't keep up with the other ones. So, if we talk a little bit about more with, on, with about the colors, they are some colors that I think are really, really good in this palette. I think this chocolate is really good. Also this crepe, creme, puffs and tart. <laughs> yeah, the colors I think is not so good is this Mont Blanc. It's, if I swatch it, it is like a nice silver shade but when I take it on my hand it's not and mostly with UV space shimmers you can just put them on you don't need to cut your crease or anything but with this Mont Blanc I think you need to cut your crease and I am a little bit sad about that but that's just how it is with this macaron you can put it on just your sticky base but it is not that opaque um, but this tart, that is a really good shade and this puffs as well. So I think it doesn't keep up with the other UVS Place palettes and I think that's why I haven't used it as m that much because I don't think it's that good. And this custard, this in the middle, this stain your eye like crazy. I really don't bother if something stains my eyes, but this stayed on for like two days and it looks 
looked like I had like an eye infection or something. Not my favorite. I'm completely okay with some staining, but the staining from this is crazy, so I just like want to wash this off because I don't want to have an eye infection again. Um, but yeah, is it a good palette? Yes. Is it as good as you would place other palettes? No. Do you need this palette? No. I think this is maybe for somebody that doesn't like so much color. I f I like the like color. I like how this palette looks, but I don't get so inspired by this and. Like this, I want this to be like this deep, silvery, really amazing shadow, but it's not. And also this one, I think it's a little bit lighter than you might think. And it isn't that opaque as UV's matte shadows can be. So if I could change something about this palette, I would take away this berry mousse. It is, it is a good shade, but it's like, doesn't really matter for me if I have it here or not. And I also will take away this Mont Blanc custard and I think macaron as well because this isn't as vibrant as UVS can be. Super bad place to swatch. So it's not my favorite UVS place by far. If I would lose this palette. I don't know why I would, but if I would, I would not buy it again. Um, it was fun to play with it, but I think it's not a palette that I'm going to use so much. One thing, one thing, one thing I think this palette can be good with, it's like a complementary palette. I saw some video, I don't know which one it was. If I can find it, and I don't remember who said it. If I find that video again, I will leave it down here. But she said that this was a good complementary palette, and I agree on that. But to do like a really cool look with only this, and if you are like a normal person that don't use as much makeup, I think it's going to be hard. So it's a fun palette. And now I'm just going to stop talking. I'm not regretting buying it, but as I said, I wouldn't buy it again. Um, it will stay in my collection. It will, because it's a UVS Place palette. And I really like, as I said, this chocolate, creme, and crepe. And these two are also good. And one last thing about the shimmer in this palette. Like, this Puffs, Macarons and Mont Blanc, this Puffs is okay. They need to be sprayed. And for me to spray a UVS Place shimmer, I don't really like that because I usually don't do it. Because I don't need to, but with this I need. And it feels like they are like a layering, like a top shade um, to others, I hope. You will get what I mean because I'm so bl bad at explaining. Um, so it feels like they are more toppers than actual shimmer shades. And if this is your first UVS Place palette, I don't think it would bother you as much, much as it bothering me because this was not my first. I have used their amazing shadows and then I tried this and it was not the same. So yeah, I will round up this review. I hope something get out of this. I don't know, but yeah. Would I recommend this palette? For a beginner, yes. For someone that wants this color scheme and as an amazing palette as UVS Place can be, no. So yeah, that sums up my review, I think. I hope you like this free looks one palette and I will leave a card up here where you can vote which palette you want me to do next in this free looks one palette. And I think I would will have this card in the beginning of the video because I don't know if everybody's going to see my rant. So yeah, I will leave it up here. 
please vote on which palette you want to see and I will do that palette next time. So I really hope you like this babbly long review part of this video and if you have this palette please let me know what you think, if you agree with me or if you think this is as bad as, bad, as good as you've placed other palettes. Please let me know and we can talk about it in the comments. It would be fun to see what you think. So yeah, that sums up my review and this video and I hope you liked it and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!